Hey guys, it's Aman and Christina from, from Our Risk, Risk Journey. Journey. Today is our first day in Singapore, but prior to getting here, we had to pack. Mm. So in today's video, we are going to give you the top tips that we have for packing, specifically for packing a carry-on so you don't have to carry big luggage when you travel. Now, if you want to keep up with the rest of our Singapore series, this is just video number one. But we're going to be touring the city, we're going to talk about how we're actually here, uh, and we didn't pay for any flights or hotels, and we're going to be rolling out the rest of those videos this entire week. So we have a policy in our family, wherever we travel, it's all about passports and backpacks, meaning that we only want to have those two things. We don't want a whole lot of carry-on luggage whenever we travel, we try to travel light. And we do that for four particular reasons. The first reason why we have a carry-on is because we do not want to pay any extra baggage fees. When you check bags, sometimes you have an extra baggage fee, or if it weighs too much, you have to pay that as well. So by doing a carry-on, we can completely eliminate those costs. And the second reason is because when you have your bags with you on the plane, there's no fear of getting them lost. Sometimes the airlines may lose your bags, so by doing a carry-on, they're always with you and you won't lose them. And this goes into our third and fourth reason. Without checking a bag, that means we can get right off the plane and get our vacation started. Without having to wait at the carousel for our luggage to come, we can grab our bags and get right into a taxi. Now the fourth reason has to do with the size of luggage. So typically, when we're, when we're talking about not checking our bags, we're carrying backpacks. And with backpacks, you can get right into a taxi and, and get going. Usually, if you're traveling with three or four pieces of luggage, they don't fit into a standard taxi. But with the backpacks, they, they fit right in. Let's get into our packing tips now. The first thing is to make a list. I love making lists because I don't really like to retain the things in my brain of all the things we have to remember. So I sit down by I sit down and start by making a list. I can just doodle it or I will make notes and make sure that I have everything that I need to pack, especially for our girls, because if I forget something, then it becomes a little hassle when we're at our at our destination. So we always start by making a list. When we travel, we try to travel as efficient as possible, and I think a list makes us do that. It also allows us to kind of verify with one another what we're taking, so that we're not overpacking. And we do a lot of international travel, so there are special requirements in some of these countries that we go to, and so it's always good to be able to write down those requirements and make sure that you're getting them done. The next thing is to roll your clothes instead of fold them. A lot of people like to fold their clothes, but if you roll them, you can get your clothes a lot tighter and they can fit really snug and securely into a carry-on. Now, we have gone through several different ways of packing in the past. We've done things where we folded clothes, we've done things where we just threw clothes into bags and sort of crammed it in, but of all the different methods that we've tried, rolling is definitely the most efficient way to get all of your clothes into a carry-on. Especially when you're traveling with a family, you have to pack tight. And I mean, when we were traveling alone, we had less things to bring. But with our kids, we need to be very efficient and rolling has always worked the best. I wasn't always rolling my clothes. I mean, when I first started traveling, I would just pick up a pile of clothes and throw in my luggage. But then when I got to the hotel, it was like, it all felt very unorganized. When you roll, unpacking is also really easy too because you can take them right out of the luggage and put them right into a drawer. We also like to maximize all the space we have. So one thing that we do is within our shoes, we stuff other clothes within those shoes. Now we don't stuff anything like our underwear or anything like that in the shoes, but we put socks and maybe things that we're not gonna be wearing above the foot. <laughs> The next thing that we do when we travel is we always save the travel size bottles in the hotel rooms that they provide. We save the conditioner, shampoo, all those lotion bottles, and we actually use them when we get back home. But when we're done using them, we rinse them out and we save them for future use. So what we like to do when we travel, because they're small size, you can fit them on the carry-on on the plane without having them taken by TSA because of the size with the liquid in there. So we fill them with products that we would need that are usually typically in a bigger bottle, we'll fill them into the smaller size bottle and we bring them with us on the carry-on. Another thing that we like to do that's sort of in line with the hotel bottles is to use old prescription bottles. Now we like these because they have a nice secure cap and they also allow us to contain things that are sort of small that would be sort of 
thrown across our, our luggage if we didn't use them otherwise. So what we like to use for the prescription bottles, we like to use hair clips, different cotton swabs, things that are small, that are very, that are numerous though, that we want to have contained into a small area. So we use this prescription bottles for that. When you go on long trips, you can always watch the movie, but we like to read. And bringing all these books is not the most efficient way to pack. So downloading audiobooks or bringing a Kindle is the most efficient way to read your books. So we've arrived here in Singapore and we just gave you guys kind of the first thing that we did before we leave for a trip. So if you like what you've heard, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and join, join the, the journey. journey.